What's up guys? I just wanted to make this quick little video here of uh, this repair I did with my Vulcan Pro TIG 200. So this here is a elbow for a hydro excavator. And these things are pretty thin. So this end here hangs down towards the floor and uh, all the suction that happens from in here comes up in here like they'll suck up like rocks and dirt and uh so when all the debris comes in it beats the hell out of this area here on the inside and it wears it out pretty fast and it thins out and eventually gets holes and you know loses vacuum or whatever loses suction so what i did is i put this quarter inch thick three inch wide uh stock along the inside right in the center to kind of deflect the impact from the uh, debris and material that gets right now it's just ditch water that gets sucked up in here so I'm doing it here at my house so that's why I just tack welded it up a little bit because I don't really want to turn on my uh, my generator type welder my gas welder because it's kind of loud so all I did is use my core power here to uh, press it out in, all in place to where it's pretty tight, pretty tight to the uh, to the bottom there, and uh, press it in place, tacked it, went a little further down, pressed it, tacked it, all the way to the end, which is right over here. See over here in this part of the. Uh, and this part of the pipe right here, it doesn't really get much wear because it's already the end of it's already past the end of the 90 degree. So all of the debris just kind of flows along the center, no longer rubs on the top here. So yeah, just figured I'll probably help somebody out because uh, I've repaired them before when they're on the trucks, and I'll put. A plate along the outside I'll get like a big old flat plate and cut out slices and measure everything up so the plate can wrap around and it'll go about halfway down the radius on both sides and uh, I'll pull it all along the outside but that's a lot of material and the only reason I do it like that is because it's already on the truck and I don't want to uh, take it apart and once it gets that thin to where you have to repair it you really can't weld something this thick onto the pipe anymore because it's way too thin so like this it looks much better also than that other way that I do it sometimes and you get to put much thicker material because when I do it on the outside I use probably like 3 16 or 8 inch material because it's kind of hard to to work the material so like this all the boulders and the bigger rocks and stuff uh, just kind of hit the plate and deflect the plate kind of deflects the impact to the actual pipe itself yeah so uh, I just figured I'll share that with you guys see if maybe it might help somebody who's in the same position all right thanks for watching